I'm Chris Thorne, and this is my seven-day, twenty-dollar dollar store survival challenge. In this challenge, there's only one rule: take my limited kit and do what I've got to do to make it out the other side. It's cold this morning. I woke up to use the bathroom while it was still dark out. I was like, "Uh-uh, -oh, no way, no way, I'm not getting up." <sighs> So I came back in here and went to sleep. It's still cold though, but way warmer than it is outside. There's no way. It's way too cold. It was way too cold this morning. Right, Come up. I gotta work on my exit strategy though. Could be a little better. Ooh. Come on, Bella. <laughs> Good morning. I'm cold. We gotta get a fire started. Come on. There we go. Yes. Get this little guy cranking. Whew. It's so cold. It's day six, guys. Day six. Yes. I know. We're doing pretty good, aren't we? Man, that cold really just saps the energy right out of you. <laughs> and I know some of y'all will be like, negative two degrees Celsius. You should come here. <laughs> I'm in South Texas, as South can get, man. It's super, super, super South. When I'm dealing with crazy triple digit temperatures almost all year round. Negative two degrees Celsius is wild for us. That's just weird. Frost on the ground. We never see snow. So for me, it's just crazy they got this cold. If I wouldn't have messed around with my shelter and gotten that ready, man, I don't know. I would have been a really rough night, like really rough. Oh yes. Oh, I got a feeling in my hands again. <laughs> I'm almost out of water. This will be gone by noon. So I need to boil some water early, uh, check the traps, see if anything has been yielded there at all. Guys, it's day six. Tomorrow is the last day. I'm like super excited. I think the only thing that's gonna like ruin this is I'd have to get seriously injured or like get pneumonia. Even then, I'd take, uh, I'd, I'd 100% take the pneumonia. Totally worth it. Just to say that I did it. Water, not a whole lot, but if I boil that down, she give me another 25, 30 ounces, just enough water to squeak me through because I've got about 16, 18 ounces left plus this. That should be just enough uh, for today into tonight. Not epic. I wouldn't rely on a solar catchment system. If you can bring a water filter with you when you're not doing silly challenges like this, definitely do that. Head down to the creek. Gonna check the traps, seeing what's what. <sighs> Man, I wish I would have actually had all of my tools on me for that armadillo. That would have been a really, really, really good meal. Dude, oh my gosh. Holy crap. Bella, that's a raccoon. Ugh. Jeez. Goodness gracious. We're gonna have protein for dinner. He's been dead a whole minute. Jeez. This thing's heavy. But yeah, it's the raccoon flattened and smattened. The raccoon is all ready to be processed up. This is something I'm sure you guys have seen a thousand times, but I don't really like to show the processing and skinning again just because I don't like to get the videos demonetized. If that happens, then I won't be able to share it out with as many people and they can't learn about different aspects of survival in the outdoors. And that's exactly what these videos are geared for.
took a lot longer than I wanted because my knife's starting to get dull. The sponsor of today's episode is the Big D Bag subscription service, offering some of the best and most useful gear for the avid outdoorsman and hunter in your life. Their promise is no fluff or BS items ever. Head on over to BigDBag.com and discover how $40 per month can change your experience in the wild. That link will be down in the video description. A really interesting idea would to be get the legs off for some lunch now and we'll trim some of the fat off and do uh, raccoon thighs fried up. Almost like Bush's chicken. Oh, there's so much fat on this thing. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Oh, man. That looks done if I've ever say so myself. Alrighty. Dear Lord, thank you for this food. Please nourish us to our bodies. Thank you for giving us a very fatty raccoon that will allow us to keep our energy up, get our calories up, and have multiple meals for the last two days of our adventure. In Jesus' name we pray, and we thank you. Amen. All right, guys, sorry for the move yet again in the other cut. That smoke is driving me crazy. Mm-hmm. A little tough. Uh-huh. That fat, fried up, mm. Makes it all worth it. Mm. Hot. Here you go, pal. There we go. She need a little bit more of that uh, fat and oil. <laughs> there you go, baby. You got two whole legs. Whew. It's hot, fella. There you go. <laughs> I think she likes it, y'all. Never thought I'd get fried chicken, I mean fried turkey, I'm sorry, fried raccoon <laughs> on a Dollar Tree survival challenge in my wildest, in my wildest dreams. Never would have guessed. Golly. I mean, this, this is glamping. This is legitimate glamping. Look at that. That's all meat. It's like an inch and a half thick. Worth it. They're so crispy and juicy. And that fat, wouldn't call it like butter. Not even close. No, no dairy in there at all, but it's like a like a savory, like, I don't know, it, it's, it's hard to describe the, the taste. Got a bite up? There you go. <laughs> well, she has hers. I'll take mine, there we go. Bella, I'm sorry. I feel like I screwed you over. This one's better. Oh my gosh. Mm-hmm. There we go. That's a big hunk of meat. Mm-hmm. Since it is winter time, I'm gonna save the rest of this fat for my fire starter in the morning. If you can get animal fat rendered off during the winter time, save as much fat from the animal. It'll give you more fat, but it'll also that the blubber. Excellent fire starter. Bella had a heyday. She had it down to bones. She got all the meat and the stuff like that, but uh, we'll let her chew on the bones later. But uh, I could not have asked for a 
a more delicious and more savory meal camping like period maybe maybe some ribeye steak or something if I was just like camping with my family but for a challenge where I have no tools and I got to figure all this out man I just I can't tell you how blessed I feel right now Bella's like, what's that? Dishes are done. I'm tired. Like the food is hitting me and it's digesting, and my body's like, it wants to just knock me out, man. I want to take a nap for like an hour. I'm terrified to do so, though. I'm terrified to stop because I feel if I do, that my body will just crash. I'll just be out and I'll wake up and it'll be dark and the fire will be out, the food will be spoiled, like, you know, all that going on. But I think the best course of action is just keep moving. I'll go check the fish trap as long as that's cool. Put a nice big old thick log on the fire and I might crash for an hour. Hope I wake up. Yeah, nothing. I've had some bait fish with some shad, something like that to put in here. Probably on like Donkey Kong. This monster is heavy. <laughs> it's mostly because it's waterlogged. It wasn't that bad a couple days ago. Yeah, that extra water, man. That'll do. That'll do, donkey. That'll do. All right, getting some wood on the fire. Want this thing to smoke. We don't want this to go rancid. That would be bad. I think I am gonna hop in my dog and go take a nap. See you guys in an hour. Look who joined me. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yep. Crazy pup. Are you leaving? Okay. It's probably a good idea. Well. It's still daylight. That's a good sign. <sighs> I needed that nap though. That was nice. I mean, literally, right here, this could be like two weeks worth of fire starters. You got some jute twine, I mean even rotten wood. Mix that around on there, hit it with a fire steel. Dude, yes, accelerant times 10. So a lot of people in the comments on past challenges and stuff always ask me, Chris, do you really like get out of bed, set up the tripod, then go back in, and then come back out just to film the scene? If so, that's 
crazy and ridiculous. And like two years ago, yes, yes I would. Now I do not do that. Hey Bella. Now because I run multiple cameras, I can have a camera in my pocket, have my GoPro right here, but I also have my main camera. And that main camera, all the cameras that are not on that are on tripods have a little secret, which is this guy right here. This is a remote switch by Bluetooth. Works for about 20, 25 feet. And whenever I need to stop and start recording, I literally was able to take a nap, turn this thing on, it turns on the camera app for me, and then when I press the button, and it starts recording again. Pretty cool, right? <laughs> yeah, so that's one of my little tricks, if you didn't know. Kind of full, so I think uh, me and Bella are just gonna share one arm. Cause I don't know how much more I could eat. I can eat right now today. Oh yes, oh the chicken leg, and done. Yes, that's my plate for tonight. All right, before I get to have my deliciosity, get my water ready. Oh no, a leaf got in. There we go. Now we'll get that water boiled. It's like a K ration. <laughs> Dear Lord, thank you for this meal. Thank you for the raccoon legs. Thank you for my dog, Bella, who is always in arm's reach of food, especially when it's tasty. And thank you for nourishing this food to our bodies. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Get some of your fur off my hands. Ooh. This is good, baby. Almost identical to the exact same thing we had earlier. There you go. There you go. Yeah, buddy. Honestly, with it fried up in its own fat, borderline indistinguishable from chicken. Think like tough turkey, closest thing I can come up with. There you go. Rock on, girl. There you go. I know, it's a little warm. Almost like we fresh cooked it. That's really good, yeah, baby. <laughs> I would say for anybody who's trying to do this adventure go for it but be smart about it don't try to be like wear board shorts and a tank top in the winter you know what I'm saying? plan accordingly and it's a fun way to figure out what works what doesn't what how you can adapt everyday items into other things and I'm sure you guys are wondering yeah I made them I made my big tongs I told you guys in the episode where we built this we we're gonna build these so I told you they were coming I just kind of figured I kind of Easter egg you a little bit for episode 6 but these are kind of fire tongs, but they ended up being food tongs. These would have been great for the raccoon today. Hello. Have a good night. Yeah. I know. Good girl. Alrighty. Door flaps are closed. So. The water boiling is done. It took about 30 minutes to cool it off enough so it wouldn't like melt the bottle or anything. But got about three quarters of a bottle. Just enough for me to squeak out for tomorrow. Oh. However, we have full bellies. Oh, and I am not complaining. This is the most full I've been this whole week. <laughs> and I'm happy. 
And I finally get to go to sleep again. Come here, Bella. Come on. Come on, Goober. Come on. Yeah, good girl. All right, y'all. Well, say goodnight to Bella for me down in the comment section. See you in the next one.